don't turn your head. Yeah, I um, learned what a stroke was and like how important a daycare, daycare nurse is. So it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it was like I was surprised like how long it took them to like open the car up and get the passengers out and stuff. But it was quite realistic. So um, just how long like like how serious it really is and how like the statistics of like how many people like die on the roads and speed and stuff. Yeah, so far I have. Yeah, it's been really good, exciting. So, um, could you just generally describe in a real emergency what would be different for us? Okay, the patients that we had, we had four. Okay, we had two that were time critical, which means they need to be extricated within the first hour. Um, one later received um, an amputation for the left leg, okay, which we need to control with bleeding. With that, we needed to get uh, a trauma team out and just had to remove it off the seat. The second patient was an unconscious female. Again, because it was a fast impact RTC or road traffic incident, they have to have covers on. Everybody then would be spine boarded because we don't know what other mechanics of injuries they've got until they get to a hospital for x um, The only difference between this accident, we would have had the air ambulance, a basic doctor, and some other emergency ambulances. As you can see, this ambulance can only take one patient. Okay? So, the rapid response vehicle comes to all road traffic accidents, as well as how many ambulances you need. Alright? Anything else? Uh, Alright, no. Uh, what's different from real? Basically, time is real. Time is all in situation at any instant. Especially when people were trapped. Uh, the worst, actually, in that case was the front seat passenger. She was trapped by her legs, and eventually, the scenario goes, she actually loses her leg. So, major considerations are spine injury as well. That boy has to remove the seat, roof is not completely, doors are all off. We need as much space for the ambulance service themselves for these casualties. Spark consideration inside, our main consideration is keep the casualty breathing. If they start to deteriorate rapidly, the plan B, our main plan, plan A, was to get the roof off to allow more space, but the casualty starts to deteriorate very rapidly. Plan B, we to get the doors on first to get more space, so literally we can grab somebody out, get them to the ambulance. Overall, a great scenario, it's nice to have a lot of to change for this training done this. The training dummy won't scream at you and say, That's hurting! That's my leg! So, <laughs> overall, a great scenario. And you see what's got a training draw and it's very good. So, a magic one. Every game, I think. So, cool. you enjoy yourself. Enjoy, yeah. Uh, well, we do good the job, boys. It's helpful to me out. And, uh, yeah. Good training for us. Okay, okay gentlemen, thanks very much. What we done? Yeah. Yeah. It felt really strange because there's like if I was brushing my teeth, I'd obviously do it a certain way, and she was doing it differently. And if there was a bit that I really wanted to clean, oh, but okay. she didn't film it. Okay, those of you that actually had your mind, I really want well, that bit done or whatever. <coughs> and when she's giving me the water, um, she doesn't know how much to give you, so I kept moving my head. Oh, she was going to give me too much water, like kind of thing. So it's very strange. Quite effective way of demonstrating. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, also my hands were in my jumps, I didn't have any control of my hands, I couldn't see. Um, and that's something that I've never done before, and I've never had it in my brush my teeth before. So. Quite disorienting. Yeah, definitely. She was good. <laughs> so, what was the main purpose of the day? Um, basically, to make children who are interested in health and social care more aware of the routes they can take and higher education and the different paths they can take, it's not just one, it's not just health and social care, obviously there's the police, there's the ambulance, our assignments and many different people. Was it difficult to call It was, well, we've been working on it since last September, so we've had to do a lot of research and a lot of chasing up and everything, but everybody's been really positive and responded and obviously we've had a good team, so it's been very good. Are you pleased with the results? We are very pleased, we just looked at the evaluation forms and they're all very positive and so we just look forward to the afternoon now to see what the afternoon brings. 
Yeah, so what do you think of it? Was it, it was great. It was yeah. really well worked out, the um, actual act. It's well act, well act, well act. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, it's done very well, yeah. Um, it looked very realistic from what I've seen. Yeah, so did you find it useful? Or? It was yeah. useful, yeah. Um, did you learn anything from it? Uh, from the day or just the accident. Oh, both of them? Or these um, both I learned quite a lot from the two, uh, from the scenario and the two. Um, workshop and good. Okay. Good. Good. Good.